Welcome back, everyone. We have a little bit of light rain moving through the area right now, but really falling apart as it moves west to east, mainly south of US 30 from Lima, Wapkinet to Sydney. Very back edge of this activity already moving through, and it's continuing to fall apart as it runs into Hardin and Logan counties, running into more stable air. Initially, this was a severe complex of storms that moved through parts of Indiana this morning. Here's the look at the radar. Over the past four hours, we saw that cluster move in from the west, and now pretty well falling apart as it moves into the Buckeye State. But we look behind it, we start to see some clearing. So those clouds that we have now, and really for much of the morning, we've had clouds hindering our ability to warm and the ability to get the atmosphere to become unstable. But we're going to start to work on that a little bit here. You notice from Fort Wayne and off to the west, there is some sunshine breaking out. So we'll start to see a little more sunshine this afternoon, which will create the chance as a front starts to move in as well. That'll be a trigger that will try to get a few storms to develop here. But we're not expecting a whole lot of coverage with those storms. Temperatures again held down right now. We're at 75 in Lima. We have 75 in Fort Shawnee as well as Elida. Look at temperatures up to the north here. A little bit warmer in the upper 70s because we don't have that rain up to the north, so it's a little bit warmer there. And then down to the south, we are kind of rain cooled now in the lower 70s there around Fort Loramie there. We have 74 in New Knoxville. So looking at our forecast moving forward through the afternoon, and the forecast models are not too, uh, too uh, robust here with the storms, but a few isolated to widely scattered showers and storms can be expected to develop this afternoon. So if you have outdoor plans, just keep an eye to the sky and, of course, uh, keep an eye on the radar as well with our app. You can notice here through the afternoon at 3 o'clock, more sunshine developing, allowing temperatures to warm up. But we see the storms kind of few and far between. We're under that marginal risk here between now and sunset that any storm could produce some strong winds. But otherwise, again, it looks like as we get towards the evening, 6, 7 o'clock, a lot of that's going to move out. And then tomorrow we are looking at a dry day for Tuesday with temperatures in the 80s, a slight drop in humidity tomorrow. But watch what happens on Wednesday. Boy, the heat is going to come roaring in here with a high of 93, and that's going to come with a heat index that could go over 100. Uh, but then we are looking at some relief by the late part of the week. It looks like Thursday, a front's going to bring scattered showers and storms, cooling us back, relatively speaking, in the 80s. There you go. One day and done. Just one day, we're done. We're good. All right, thank you, Nathan. Coming up